The following data was obtained for the variables x and y. So these are x values, these are our y values. Part 1. Use the data to verify that the relationship between x and y is cubic. So the changes in the y values for constant changes in the x values are 5, 9, 25 and so on, which are not constant. So basically to get from minus 4 to 1 we're adding 5, to get from 1 to 10 we're adding 9, to get from 10 to 35 we're adding 25 and so on. So these are not constant, they are not the same. Thus the relationship is not linear. The changes of the changes are 4, 16, 28. So that means the difference between the differences or the second difference. So to get from 5 to 9 is a difference of 4. To get from 9 to 25 is a difference of 16. And the next difference would be 28, which again are not the same. They are not constant. Thus the relationship is not quadratic. So if the second difference was the same or the change of the changes was the same, we would say that it was quadratic. This is not the case. Now we need to find the difference between the second difference. So the changes of the changes of the changes are 12, 12 and 12. To get from 4 to 16 is a difference of 12, from 16 to 28 is a difference of 12 and so on, which are constant. Thus the relationship is cubic. So basically the third difference is the same, so the relationship is cubic. Part 2. If y equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, Find the values of the constants a, b, c and d. So we have y equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So if we start off with our point 0, minus 4, so our x value of 0, a y value of minus 4. If we were to substitute in 0 in place of each of those x's, we would have a times 0 cubed which would just be 0, b times 0 squared, which would just be 0, c times 0, which would just be 0, and we would be left with d. So we would be substituting the y for minus 4, so therefore y would be equal to d, so minus 4 would be equal to d, so d is equal to minus 4. Okay, so now we're going to substitute in our x value of 1, and our y value of 1. So we're going to take the point 1, 1 and some substitute it into our equation. So remember we got the d to be minus 4. So we're going to have a times 1 cubed, which will just be a, plus b times 1 squared, which will just be b, plus c times 1, which will just be c. The d we swap for minus 4, and that's all going to be equal to 1 because we have a y value of 1. We're going to bring the minus 4 over the other side, it becomes plus 4, and 1 plus 4 is 5. So we have a plus b plus c is equal to 5. So now we have one equation in terms of a, b, and c. We're going to do the same with the second point, which is 2, 10. So we're going to swap each of those x values for 2. Remember the d, we already have to be minus 4. So a times 2 cubed is going to be 8a. b times 2 squared is going to be 4b. And c times 2 is going to be 2c. The d we know is minus 4. And this is all equal to 10. Because when we substitute in 2, we end up getting 10. We're going to bring the minus 4 over the equal sign. It becomes plus 4. 10 plus 4 is 14. So we get 8a plus 4b plus 2c is equal to 14. And then we're going to divide across by 2 to get 4a plus 2b plus c is equal to 7. So now we have a second equation in terms of a, b and c. And we're going to do the same with 3 and 35 because we need three equations because we have three unknowns, a, b, and c. So we're going to swap each of the x values for 3 this time and let it all be equal to 35. So a times 3 cubed is going to be 27a. b times 3 squared is going to be 9b. c times 3 is going to be 3c. And remember the d is minus 4. And that's all equal to 35, because when we sub in 3, we get it equal to 35. We're going to bring the four, minus 4 over the equal sign, it becomes plus 4. 35 plus 4 is 39. So we get 27a plus 9b plus 3c is equal to 39. And dividing across by 3, we get 9a plus 3b plus c is equal to 13. Now we have three equations in terms of a, b and c that we're going to solve simultaneously. 
So again, here's our three equations that we need to solve simultaneously. So I've labeled them A, B, and C. So what I'm going to do is take equation A and equation B, and I'm going to try and cancel out one of the terms. I'm going to get rid of the C's so that I have an equation in terms of A and B. So I have A plus B plus C is equal to 5, and I have 4A plus 2B plus C is equal to 7. I'm going to change the signs of the bottom equation. So the red is the new sign, and now my C's will cancel. So I have a minus 4a is minus 3a, b minus 2b is minus b, 5 minus 7 is minus 2. So now I have one equation in terms of a and b. Next, I'm going to take equation a and equation c. So I have a plus b plus c is equal to 5, and I have 9a plus 3b plus c is equal to 13. I'm going to change the signs of the bottom equation. Again, the c's will cancel out. So I have a minus 9a is minus 8a. B minus 3B is minus 2B. 5 minus 13 is minus 8. So now I have a second equation in terms of A and B. I'm going to take both of these equations up here. And I'm going to solve them simultaneously for A and B. So I'm going to multiply this top equation by minus 2. So minus 3A by minus 2 is 6A. Minus B by minus 2 is plus 2B. Minus 2 by minus 2 is plus 4. And I'm going to bring down the second equation. So minus 8a minus 2b equals minus 8. My b's will now cancel out. I have 6a minus 8a, which is minus 2a. 4 minus 8 is minus 4. So minus 4 divided by minus 2 gives me 2. So a is equal to 2. I'm going to substitute the a back into one of the equations. I'm going to go for this one here. So I have minus 3a minus b is equal to minus 2. I'm going to swap the a for 2 with brackets around it. Minus 3 by 2 is minus 6. Minus b is equal to minus 2. Minus b is equal to minus 2 plus 6. Minus b is equal to 4. So b is equal to minus 4. So now I have a is equal to 2. b is equal to minus 4. I now go back to my original equations. I choose one of them. I'm going to go for the top one. a plus b plus c is equal to 5. And I'm going to substitute in my a and my b. So I'm going to swap the a for 2 and the b for minus 4. So I swapped a for 2, b for minus 4, so I get 2 minus 4 plus c is equal to 5. So 2 minus 4 is minus 2, so minus 2 plus c is equal to 5. So c is equal to 5 plus 2, so c is equal to 7. So a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 4, c is equal to 7.